Good morning, beautiful people. I'm beautiful. You guys are beautiful. We're gonna show you what a weekend in our life looks like. We got some ground beef to eat later on. Show them my soup. And Lynn is making some soup right now. What's that? It's ramen with shrimp and beef. Mmm, delicious. And then we got little baby Nada just chilling, watching if we drop anything. <laughs> But I'm going to go to the gym right now, hit a chest workout, maybe bring you guys along. Lynn is going to get ready, and then we're going to go play pickleball. Yeah. So We she, got new paddles. Yeah. yeah, I'll show you guys. So we have new paddles. I'll show you afterwards, but the bag is right here. And yeah, she's really excited about all the balls that we got and all the paddles. And then tomorrow, I'm going to show you also what's going to happen tomorrow. I got an open house, but just kind of, you know, bring you with us to show you what our days look like and also, you know, show you the funny parts because I feel like in the past I would like be a little shy but like what's actually going on in our life but for example this one was jumping on me the whole time so got my pre-workout right here I also just got another bottle Lynn is not happy because now we have two big bottles. There's so many. 64 ounce. <laughs> and then we also have this pre-workout that I just started taking. Which is not as good as this one, the bulk. But still, it's pretty good. Are you just watching? So we live in Coma Valley, specifically in Pacific Islands Ranch. And these townhouses, like all these ones right here, started, I think it was a year or two, between 1.2, no, I think it was just over a million, and now they're selling for like 1.5 and 1.6. It's insane. I mean, you are walking distance to like Crunch Fit Fitness, which is where I go, and like all the other stuff, but for a townhouse, like three and four bedrooms, to pay 1.5, 1.6 million, it's kind of crazy, no? What do you guys think? California prices. <laughs> time I come back home, the little one gets really excited. Hello? Hello? What's your name? Hi Nala. Hi. Did you get excited? Are you excited to see Papa? Hi. Now, we only have an hour left for the pickleball, but you guys know what? I am tired of taking post-workout and it getting stuck like at the bottom. So I got this little thing that spins the post-workout. I'm going to show it to you, but I'm trying multiple different post-workout protein. So this is the one that I've been trying. This is plant-based. I'm not a big plant-based guy. You know, I like my protein, my organic, and my steaks right now, and the chicken. But it only has five ingredients, which is really good, and it's non-GMO. So I do one scoop. I mean, look at this. There's like no bad stuff in it. So I'm just trying all kinds of different protein shakes because I finished the one that was grass fed so I'm just trying different ones and the two pre-workout I think I already showed it to you but I'm trying this one right now but if I'm being completely honest I don't feel the effect I like the other one more and then as you guys know I take creatine almost every day about five times a day five grams of creatine really helps also getting into a good tan I've been tanning more often so walking outside with Nala with no shirt on some neighbors think that I'm a little crazy but I personally enjoy it 
Can I show them my muscles? Right now, people are getting scared. This is literally like one of the best things they can take if you want to get bigger muscles. Helps the brain too, apparently. You guys ready? Okay, look. So we just arrived to, is it Mission Beach or? A yeah, Mission Beach, Mission Bay here in beautiful San Diego. As you can see, this is really nice. And I'm gonna teach her how to play pick a blow. Are you excited? She got all the cute outfit from Lululemon. And where did you get the pick a blow from? I got it on Amazon. You got it on Amazon? <laughs> and then she got me this one right here, which apparently is like a professional one. Right, baby? So I'm gonna show you how we're playing and how I'm gonna destroy her, but nicely. And look, look, this is the chocolate that we have been liking so much. What do you think? Do you like it? It's like the best chocolate. No, I love it. Oh my god! She needs to be able to pee quicker! But she needs to pee. She needs to pee very soon. Okay, why don't you go take her out to go pee really quick? And now I can put away the food and I can start cooking for you. Okay, let's go. Take a walk. You want to read? Yeah. Go get the other bags. Those are really heavy. I want to see you take a hold on now. Let's let's see let's see if Mama can take all the bags. I'll hold the door for you. Guys, usually I always pick up everything, but her yeah I want yeah. It's so, not facing us. <laughs> it's not facing. Bev, is it heavy? Is it heavy? No. No. Yeah. Are you a strong and independent woman? No. No? <laughs> Why not? I don't want to. <laughs> so we just came back from Whole Foods, but we, well, she really liked playing pickleball, so we reserved another spot in Pacific Beach. As you can see behind us, there are plenty of people playing. And honestly, it's a really nice area to play. So we're gonna get playings on this one. So Bella, that was your first time, well, second time playing pickleball. What do you think? I suck, but it was fun. <laughs> I want to go every weekend. Do you understand why people are addicted to pickleball? Because I started playing and I was like, man, this is pretty fun. Because I used to play um, ping pong, but this is kind of similar, but just on a bigger scale. So we are going to try to play every Saturday. So, and then we got a little crazy. <laughs> crazy. I love you. So yeah, that was it. We're gonna go home right now, but it's good to go outside, especially in sunny San Diego, which I always say in real estate, just go outside, enjoy the pickable courts, enjoy all kinds of courts. I'm actually- I have to fix seat. You have to fix it? Yeah. Oh man. Also, try to go play tennis. I'm really trying to get into Wait. more sports. <laughs> hey guys, and it's the next day now. I already did some leg workout at the gym today, but I am doing an open house for this property right here behind me and just wanted to talk to you about the real estate market and also how it is to be a real estate agent. I'm going to be completely honest with you, doing a lot of open houses, putting out 20 signs every single time I do open house, it can be challenging, but I keep thinking, you know what, it could be challenging, but it will pay off long term. So for example, this property that I'm doing an open house for, it's $2.5 million. So if you run the numbers on a $2.5 million home, let's uh, find a buyer for it from the open house or find a buyer in the same price range and I help them buy in a home. 
then 2.5 million and 2.5 percent which is a typical it's going to be about 60 almost 70 thousand dollars i have commission splits and all that stuff i'm going to take home about currently with my brokerage about 43 to 45 thousand dollars on just one deal so and as long as you know how to play with taxes write off things you can keep almost all of it so real estate can be good but also they can be months when you're not getting paid like you don't know how to pay the next month uh, rent and groceries and all that stuff that's why you have to make sure you have something else in the meantime coming in I have another business that I sell digital products like audiobooks on Amazon so I literally get paid every single month from that which helps pay the bills but my plan this year is to do at least 10 million in sales when it comes to real estate also grow my personal brand which is this YouTube channel I want to do I want I want to get to at least 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year I'm at just under 650 so I just need to keep pushing keep creating content because honestly I also think that once I have more content on YouTube people are gonna search more and they're gonna find my contact content especially for real estate so that way I can get even more clients. So on top of me doing open houses and talking and getting to know neighbors here, I get to also, you know, have clients that reach out to me from YouTube that are just looking at property tours. And I'm trying to help as many people as I can when it comes to real estate, also giving good deals. But this channel is not only, man, this is getting heavy, but this channel is not only about real estate, it's also my journey of how I'm losing fat so currently I'm at 193 pounds, like 193 or 192. I want to get to 190 and under and have more, you know, abs showing. Because right now the main thing is the abs. I want to get them popping. But this is the open house. It's 2.5 million dollars. I'm going to show it to you very quickly. That is my station right here. My little dock. Also this power bank saves me almost every single time. This home is a spec home, so everything here was specced out to the max. It's really nice. It's a four bedroom. Well, that room right there can be an office. So this is your living area. Yes, 2.5 million can be a lot, can sound a lot for something that's just under 3,200 square feet. I'm gonna show you just a little bit more of the home. But you are in Karma Valley. It's all about the location. Schools are really good. I really like this bridge. This is pretty cool. Got the pantry here, and I'm gonna show you the downstairs bedroom, which just these sliding doors, all three, I think they were about twenty-five to thirty thousand when they built it. So pretty unique, and you can even guard this place like this room and make it an ADU. You got the washer and dryer here. You got the bathtub. I mean the bathroom with sink walk-in shower with a shower head there with closet so you could potentially even like buy this home and rent out just eat this unit like just close this up and you have your own house and rent the rest also I just finished reading this book transfer transurfing in 78 days this one right here and honestly if you are very confused with what to do in your life What's your purpose? What's your passion? What should motivate you and drive you? You should read that book. It's really good. I really liked it. I'm trying to read as much as I can. I have a Kindle, but honestly, because I have my phone with me all the time, it's so much easier to just hold my phone and read it, even if I'm like waiting for something or somebody. Pull out my phone and just start reading. But I know I need to be better off. Social media, social media is destroying me specifically Instagram because you just scroll on reels and you know it's not healthy for you so less of that less sugar more protein I want to increase my carbs a little bit more too and another thing I want to do is just be more raw and real with you guys because I feel like in the past I was more like trying to make everything look so perfect I just want to be me like in that book it's talking about how you just need to be you and whatever feels right in your heart that's what you should do if you feel like the job that you're in right now 
it's not your job. You should not do it. You should pursue something else, whether it's music, whether it's acting, fitness. Start something today. Like, literally just start. That's why I started this YouTube channel. Like, I'm, I don't want to sell real estate for the whole, like, for the rest of my life. Like, I enjoy real estate. I enjoy helping people buy their biggest expense and the biggest purchase. But at the same time, I also want to go travel and make money while I'm traveling, which what my Amazon is doing. Uh, but I want to scale it up to potentially help other men achieve what I will achieve in the future. <laughs> and just like that, it's the next day. She's going crazy. But I, when I went to Whole Foods, I completely forgot to show you what we got. Because I know it inspires other people to potentially follow my diet and help them become better, healthier version of themselves. So I just fed Nala some raw food. Now, don't touch the towel, you crazy. But I'm gonna show you what I like to eat and what we got from Whole Foods. And then I'm gonna show you also my own workout. She's just going bananas. Just crazy. Does your dog go under the pillow? Because she, she likes to get my eye mask. Nala, do you like to get my eye mask? Ah, uh, now you're calm, huh? You crazy. The smallest dogs are the dogs that are like the craziest. I used to have a Doberman. She wasn't this crazy. Well, she was crazy because she was my family, but this one, man. It's just unbelievable. Look at this. You look cute. But she also has some Chihuahua in her. So, when you get the DNA test on your dog, you should really look into what kind of uh, dog you got. Because we got a good deal on her. And apparently she's not all... Ties, uh, tiny, tiny size, what's it called? Toy size Malta poo. She has Chihuahua and Poodle and all kinds of other things. You wanna go with me? Let's go. So when it comes to the Whole Foods stuff, everything is in the fridge already, but we have been starting to take these ones, these salty, salty, like shots, instead of like taking caffeine in the middle of the day, of course, we got the eggs, eggs, and then strawberries, Nala's frozen food. What else? She likes to have her uh, rich and creamy organic coconut stuff. I, I have no idea. It looks like we got a lot of stuff, but then when you put it away, it's like nothing. We got some salad. But the expensive part is Nala's food, which everything is organic. We gave her some... Uh, chicken, uh, she also has bone broth, look at this, bone broth, unbelievable. Also, if you are trying to bulk, this is great, eat like two of these every three days. You can make burgers, you can make anything you want, and then as you can see we got plenty of meat, so we like to eat a lot of meat. Now, I am trying all kinds of protein shakes now, so... These are the ones that I'm trying at the moment. This one tastes better. I think this one is healthier overall, but trying all kinds ones, all kinds of protein shakes. And then we got oranges, very healthy for you. Also ferment testosterone, oranges increase it. Kiwi, before or after working out. Of course, bananas, you guys know. And then avocados, every single day I eat an avocado with four to six eggs in the morning and some beef so that is it that is my current physique I am 193 pounds got the abs coming up but I want them to be more you know defined so that's why I'm trying to be cleaner I'm okay with eating outside but it has to be clean so the abs are coming I'm gonna show you my arm workout guys if you're fat if you have fat layers, like, I mean, yeah, I have fat layers, but you can still see a little bit of abs. And I'm trying to work on it, so that's why I'm not satisfied. I'm trying to work on it and become the best version of myself, which is my goal every single day. Sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. I think I need to shift my mindset, but if you are a man and you're hairy and you're unsuccessful 
and your fat, I think that's like the main thing you can change in yourself and by yourself is being fit. People are gonna take like more serious of you, they're gonna respect you because if you want to be healthy, if you wanna be fit, it takes a lot of work. You have to be disciplined with food, with workout, with sleep too. Apparently like stress is like number one factor when it comes to like fat in your belly. <laughs> Maybe that's why I have it, but it's unacceptable. It's unacceptable to be fat these days. You have to be fit. You have all the knowledge out there. Like even if you don't want to get a course or you don't want to pay for somebody to teach you, go on YouTube. You can find people telling you exactly what to eat and what to do. And if that doesn't work, then reach out to a mentor. And guys, would you want me to mentor you about fitness, YouTube, and potentially even real estate? Let me know in the comment below. Arms. saying I love you I missed you and I appreciate you I mean that's why I looked it up and that's what it said and also the way they look at you you can tell if they love you right you'd love Papa do you so I actually met a guy today at the gym that I told him I'm from Israel and everything that's going on and he said he supports it I mean here and there we talked but it's so nice to actually say hi to people at the gym and not always have like a very serious face, but smile, look at people, say thank you if they're doing something for you or if they give you a weight that you need. Because I was looking for a weight specifically and he gave me the weight that he was using, which was what I was looking for. And you know, it's, it's always good to talk to people, you just never know who you're going to run into. I run into a lot of CEOs and successful people at this gym over here, even though it's crunch. It's like almost a hundred bucks a month because of the location. It's in Carmel Valley, it's expensive, and people who live here come from Del Mar, Solon Beach, mainly Carmel Valley, Rancho Santa Fe, which is some of the most expensive zip codes in San Diego, right now. But right now I'm gonna have some protein, it's a little bit later in the day, it is sunny, and then I'm gonna go take her for a walk, listen to an audiobook, and also call all the clients that came to my open house that you saw that I showed you and just talk to them, just tell them like, hey, I have a few off-market homes um, in Kama Valley or whatever you're looking for. If you need help, like, let me know. I'm not here running after people. I'm here to help them. And if they want to work with me, I'm happy to help them. I had a few egotistic people, you know, think that I'm running after them and like tell me basically like, I don't need you or this is too good. and some people even don't tell you that they're working with a different agent because they're because they're scared. Like, don't be scared. Just tell me up front. Like, I want I want to build a relationship with you. If we should like, if we like each other, if we don't like each other, if you're working with somebody else, just tell me ahead. Like, why are people so afraid here in this beautiful country to say their opinions, to say what they think? Well, probably because they have a nine to five, so they have to listen to the boss. But besides those people which is a majority, even though you have a 95, just speak what's on your mind. I feel like that's what we're missing now, especially now, before election. <laughs> There's going to be so many hated comments, but just speak on your mind. As long as you're not affecting other people badly, you're not hurting them, you're not verbally accusing or saying bad things to them, share your opinion, but do it nicely, do it respectfully. Don't yell, don't scream, don't throw things, don't call people names, just just be yourself. And that's why I'm trying to create more content just like this for YouTube, just being myself. Playing with my little puppy, she's almost one. You're gonna be one in two weeks, right? You love Papa? I know, I love you too. But let's get some protein in.
So I hope you enjoyed the weekend vlog. I hope you liked it. The main thing I want you to take away from this video is just be yourself. If you want to start something and it feels good in your heart to start a YouTube channel, to start your fitness journey, to start documenting your life, whatever it is that you're doing, you're not being right. Good. Start doing it today. Literally just pick up a phone or if you have an idea, just try to find a way to start the action today and don't listen to your family, your parents, unless they are in a place where you want to be. Because my parents, I don't want to be in their shoes. I don't want to be in the 9 to 5 and do all those things. I want to be me. I want to do my life. I want to take care of my family financially and not be stuck in one place. So, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Now I said subscribe <laughs> and like. And until next time, das Vidania.